Once upon a time, in a remote village nestled deep within a lush forest, there lived a young girl named Mia. Mia was known far and wide for her radiant spirit and her unwavering love for the natural world that surrounded her. She had grown up in the heart of this pristine wilderness, under the guidance of a revered Zen master named Raya. Mia's days were filled with wonder and connection to the earth. She roamed through the forest, her bare feet caressing the cool, damp soil beneath her. Every tree, every stream, and every creature was a cherished friend to her. Her eyes sparkled with the light of a thousand stars as she marveled at the beauty and harmony of the world around her. Zen Master Ryo, an old sage with a flowing white beard and eyes that held the wisdom of centuries, had taken Mia under his wing when she was just a child. He saw in her a rare gift, an innate understanding of the interconnectedness of all things. He recognized her ability to perceive the subtle energies that flowed through the natural world and felt compelled to nurture her talents. One crisp morning, as the sun cast its first golden rays over the forest, Mia sat in meditation with her master. They were perched on a moss-covered rock beside a babbling brook, the gentle sound of water serving as their mantra. Ryo spoke with a voice like a gentle breeze. Mia, my dear, today I will share with you a tale that has been passed down through generations of Zen masters. It is a story that will illuminate the path of your journey. Mia's eyes widened with anticipation as she listened intently to her master's words. In a distant land, there lived a wise and renowned Zen master known as Shoji. He was revered for his deep wisdom and profound understanding of the world. People from far and wide sought his counsel, hoping to gain insights into the mysteries of life. One day, a troubled young man named Koji arrived at Shoji's hermitage. Koji's heart was heavy with sorrow, and he sought answers to the questions that had haunted him for years. He approached the master and said, Master Shoji, I am lost and in great despair. I have wandered through life, searching for meaning, but I find myself trapped in a web of confusion and suffering. Please, show me the way. Shoji, with his serene countenance, nodded and invited Koji to stay with him. He shared with Koji the simple, contemplative life of the hermitage. Each day, they meditated by the tranquil pond, walked through the forest, and observed the cycles of nature. As weeks turned into months, Koji began to feel a sense of inner peace. He noticed how the forest was a mirror of his own mind, sometimes turbulent like a stormy sea, and other times calm like a still pond. He watched as the seasons changed, and leaves fell, only to be reborn in spring. And through it all, he found solace in the ever-present stillness of the natural world. One evening, as they sat by the crackling fire, Koji turned to Shoji and asked, Master, I have learned much from you but I still struggle to find the answers I seek. How can I attain the wisdom and peace that you possess? Shoji smiled gently and replied, Koji, you have already come a long way on your journey. But there is one thing you have yet to understand fully, the art of letting go. Just as the trees release their leaves and the river lets go of its current, you must learn to release your attachments and embrace the flow of life. Koji was puzzled. But how do I let go, master? Shoji handed Koji a small, empty teacup and said, This teacup represents your mind. It is filled with thoughts, desires, and worries. To truly understand the art of letting go, you must empty your mind of all that burdens it. Koji nodded and concentrated on the teacup, trying to empty it of its imaginary contents. But no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't make the cup empty. Master, Koji sighed, I cannot empty this cup. It seems impossible. Ah, Shoji chuckled. That is because you are trying too hard, my dear Koji. Just as the teacup cannot be emptied by force, your mind cannot be cleared through effort alone. You must simply allow it to become empty, like the sky after a storm has passed. Koji pondered Shoji's words for days, and slowly, a shift began to occur within him. He realized that his relentless striving and attachment to his thoughts were the very source of his suffering. As he surrendered to the present moment, his mind began to quiet, like a pond settling after a stone is tossed into it. One day, as Koji was walking through the forest, a profound realization washed over him like a cleansing rain. He saw that he was not separate from the world around him but an integral part of it. He felt a deep sense of oneness with the trees, the animals, and the very earth beneath his feet. In that moment, all his questions dissolved and he experienced a profound sense of peace and clarity. 
He returned to Shoji and said, Master, I understand now. The answers I sought were not to be found in books or words, but in the quietude of my own heart and in the wisdom of nature itself. I have learned the art of letting go, and it has set me free. Shoji smiled, his eyes twinkling with approval. You have indeed found the way, Koji. Remember, my dear disciple, that the journey of awakening is not about accumulating knowledge or achieving enlightenment. It is about letting go of all that obscures your inner light and realizing the truth that has always been within you. From that day forward, Koji became a beacon of wisdom and compassion in the world. He shared the teachings of Shoji with all who sought his guidance, and he walked the path of life with a heart full of gratitude and love. Mia listened to the story with rapt attention, her heart resonating with its profound message. She turned to her master and asked, Ryo, what does this story mean for me? How can I walk the path of letting go and find the wisdom that lies within? Ryo gazed into Mia's eyes and replied, My dear Mia, the story of Koji and Shoji reminds us that wisdom is not something to be acquired from external sources but a realization of our own true nature. Just as Koji learned to empty his mind and embrace the present moment, you too must learn to let go of attachments and distractions. Connect deeply with the natural world around you, for it is a mirror reflecting the wisdom that resides within your own heart. Mia nodded, feeling a deep resonance with her master's words. She knew that her journey was just beginning, but she was filled with a sense of purpose and a commitment to walk the path of letting go and awakening to the profound wisdom of nature and the human spirit. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the forest, Mia and Ryo continued to meditate by the babbling brook. Their hearts entwined with the timeless wisdom of the natural world and the teachings of the Zen masters who had walked this path before them. Together, they would explore the boundless depths of the human soul and the eternal beauty of the world that cradled them in its embrace. And so, the story of the young girl and the Zen master continued, a testament to the enduring power of nature, the wisdom of the heart, and the transformative journey of letting go. This is God of Motive. Thanks for watching and stay focused.